thing. Where's my coffee? Oh, well, here you go. <laughs> You're welcome <laughs> to it. There's orange yeah, lipstick I was just on gonna it. Say, wipe my lipstick The off. lipstick right here is the best part about it. I'll drink it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Burke, so you're joining us today to talk right. about one of these uh, evening with um, things that you have at the Meyer, right. and this one's a really special one coming up. Yeah, you know what? They're cool. They've been since the very first one we did was with Ron Wolf and yeah. Mike Holmgren, and then obviously Bob Harlan last year. And all three men are pillars in the Packers history yeah. from all the way back to the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Well, we really truly are going back to the Lombardi era this time with Jerry Kramer. I mean, just introduced or in, inducted into the mm -hmm. Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio this past summer. So it's going to be one of those shows where we'll hear these old stories that are starting to fade away mm -hmm. in some ways. I yeah. mean, the, the guys from that era are not around a lot of them. I mean, there's only a mm -hmm. handful of them left, and Jerry happens to be one of them. Waited a very long time to get that ring. And like the promo that we're showing right now, a legend shares his stories. I mean, that's what this thing is about. The idea is long interview format. It isn't a sound bite. It yeah. isn't your typical Packer show. I'll never forget when we had Mike Holmgren on and he told the story about Andre Risen not wearing a shirt in the back of the plane while he's eating dinner and he's got a bib around his neck. <laughs> and the way the, the airline, well, not stewardess, the, the flight, flight attendants, attendants, the flight attendants, came up and said, hey, by the way, one of your players isn't wearing a shirt in the back of the plane. <laughs> so are, those are the kind of things. I mean, Aww. Jerry, he had several near-death experiences. I mean, he was chasing a calf on a farm as a kid, and a piece of wood, after the calf stepped on it and broke it, shot up and hit him <gasps> in the groin, almost came out his back. Oh, my gosh. Some of the wood remained in his system for 11 years, and he started getting sick, and he couldn't hold what? his food down. I mean, stories like... These Jerry things Cray that we don't know. Things mm -hmm. that you don't know. And the difference between the 1966 season and 67 in mm, Super yeah. Bowls 1 and 2. S the first one, they were dominating. They yeah. kicked everybody's butt. Yeah. 67, they were hanging on. There was a bunch of <laughs> old guys who could barely play anymore and a bunch of new guys. I mean, they almost did. And then it ends with the, well, it didn't end with, but the Ice Bowl was the thing that catapulted them into the Super Bowl. Sure. And it still wasn't even known as the Super Bowl back in those days. It was the AFC. That's right. Or the AFL and the NFL playing for the world championship, and it didn't even have that. They had to give away tickets wow. to fill the seats in Los Angeles for this yeah. one. And then, of course, Jerry Kramer, obviously, with the block there on Jethro Pugh of the Cowboys to make it 21-17 with seconds to go, and Bart Starr, of course, scoring the winning touchdown. And Jerry, it, we golfed with him one time, and he is a riot. Oh, funny. This should be, be a fun evening. Well, fun evening, too, and he also... He's got his books from Instant mm -hmm. Replay, Distant Replay. He's going to have memorabilia. He's going to have all kinds of things there to sign, take pictures with the guests that are in the crowd. Oh, wow. And, and some of the, some of the seat, good seats, first of all, if you've been to the Meyer Theater, sure. there isn't There's a bad There's no bad one. seat. There's, right. It's 1,000 seats only. you got like 600 on the bottom, 400 on top. Yeah. The seats are going fast. It is a week from next Sunday, which is yep. the 14th. That'll be 6 o'clock, doors open, 7 o'clock the uh, show begins, and then... That's obviously the night before the San Francisco 49er Monday night football game. So that's right. So you looking don't have to forward worry to it. about, you know, getting from the Packers game over right. there. Right. And like you said, it Packers. starts at 7, you're out the door yeah. by 8.30, and it's just a, it's a treat for me because you get to meet these men and hear stories that you never heard of. Well, it sounds really fun. Here yep. are the details. An evening with Jerry Kramer and Burke Griffin, by the way, <laughs> is coming up Sunday, October 14th, beginning at 7 at the Meyer Theater. And tickets are available right now through Ticketstar. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Melaine and Lisa. Thanks.